Hello friends, welcome to the help videos for the Simprosis Google Shopping Feed app. In this video, we will see how to install this app on your Shopline store and complete the integration process. To begin with, we will open the Shopline App Store page and type Google Shopping Feed in the search bar. For demo purpose, we will install the app into our demo store and show you how to integrate it. Once you tap on Install App and accept the privacy policy, you will be asked to authorize the install. Moving forward, you will be redirected to the app's interface from where you can now link the app with your Google Merchant Center. Kindly use the email address that has admin access to the Google Merchant Center you wish to link the app with. If you do not have a Google Merchant Center account, you can create one by clicking on the link as shown in the video. After that, you can select the Merchant Center ID from the drop-down and click on Confirm your account. If you are linking the app with a multi-client account, kindly select the parent account in the first drop-down and then the required sub-account from the second drop-down. Make sure you enable all the required programs in your Merchant Center account because, by default, our app submits the feed just for free listings program. For example, if you wish to submit the feed for shopping ads, you need to enable the program in your Google Merchant Center. Now the app will verify the domain and the shipping settings created in your Google Merchant Center. If you have not done the shipping settings in the Google Merchant Center and want to do it later, you can click on Skip and Continue. In case you haven't configured the shipping settings yet, you can leave the app integration as it is, configure the shipping settings in the Google Merchant Center, and return to the integration page. Click on Test Shipping Rates and Proceed. Once all your shipping settings are set up correctly and verified by our app, you can proceed to the next step. In the Quick Sync settings from Shopline, you will get the option to select the basic configurations for the product submission. Moving forward to the Advanced Integration, you will have to select the options you want for the product submission. For example, here we are selecting all products. If you want to submit a collection, then you can choose products from a collection and select the required collection from the drop-down. Other settings for title, description, variants, inventory, product image option, and additional images can be selected based on your preferences. The next is the default settings option. Please note that the default settings option must be used only when you want to apply the same value to your entire catalog. Now in Google Sync settings, you can enable or disable the sale price and UTM tracking parameters based on your preferences. You may choose the preferred options for the product ID format, primary target country, and content language, and then save the settings. At last, you will have to click on the Sync button to submit the products to the Google Merchant Center. Once you sync the products in the app, you will have to wait for about 30 minutes for the products to appear in the Google Merchant Center. In some cases, it may take a bit longer depending on the number of products. Once all the products are submitted to Google, you will be able to see their status as submitted in the app. That's it about the integration process. Stay tuned for more such help videos. For any further queries, feel free to contact us at support at